Right, so I'm doing a little bit of an experiment here because the inverter for the yellow car is still in a, in bits and um, Paul is having trouble sorting it out. So I just realised I thought I couldn't go over higher voltage than 60 in this car, but I'm going to try using these modules. After talking with Paul, he explained how the battery system works here. You can actually put it up to 80 volts apparently, but I think there is, I think 70 volts is the max that the controller will actually have before shutting off. But anyway. I've set that to 57 volts and let's just give that a quick test. Let's see what happened. Right, so I think I've changed that. Um, so let's have a quick look at this. Ah, the car moves, the car moves. Ha, ah, so that looks like I do have some batteries then. Whew. Okay, 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 okay. Let's do some. Let's do some work on this car. I'm going to transfer the batteries then. When I've got some daylight, I'm going to transfer those ones into here. And that has worked. Yes, it has. And I'll quickly run through quickly what this program was doing. So if I go back into here and go onto here. So the parameters work a little bit differently on this battery pack. As you can see here, I changed it to 57 from 48. And you have this over voltage, which is 115%, which on there, I think it stopped at around 65. I forget. I need to quickly check that. But um, basically the over voltage is, oh, I may need to set that higher then actually. Because when I was looking at this, it doesn't run. It doesn't run at all when the over voltage is over that so if I set that higher that might be okay because um, it wouldn't run I tried it a moment ago it would not run so I may have to turn that up and then the under voltage is at 80 which is basically around um, 2.8 volts per cell so setting it like that you're able to put bigger battery packs in so that kind of saves the day really I'm going to use these packs these Volvo packs and uh, get this car running again at least for local journeys so there we go folks uh, thankfully i bought those at a cheap price so i already had them sitting around so they will be put to use all right so i'm in the process of just taking out this whole pack from here and i'm going to move it into the silver car now that i've sorted out that voltage now just so that i've got it on video and so that i remind myself i'm just remembering how i've done this so that negative lead goes into here the positive goes into the second one on there on this side this is in case I ever put it back to 20 to 120 volts so that one goes into the positive there that one comes up and goes into the negative there where it's fused okay and then that other negative that comes out of here, oh, not that one, that one goes up into the positive, positive there, and then the negative there, okay. So that's in case I ever put it back up to 120 volts, I'm going to be pulling this all out and wiring it all in parallel, if I can use this back end as well, and find a way for it to support in the other car because I know it's a bit different the way the supports are built in here so I'm going to need to work something out for that but yeah here it goes I guess here it goes I'm going to pull all of this out and move it all into the silver car instead of buying a new set of batteries and it will give me the time to work on the others or this might even become the permanent set for the silver car so without further ado let's get pulling all of these out right, there we go that only took a short while and it is out look at that what i love about building it this way is it's all modular so batteries have come out that's come out that can slot straight into the other car and the batteries can go straight back in it's a pretty it's a pretty fast and simple way to do this so yeah, let's go and put the batteries into the silver car. Right, so here's our progress. I have basically just wired, I've wired all of this up here, the charger, because this charger was originally plugged, not plugged in, so I've wired that up. 
to the mains and I have just over here I've put in that little modification um, that goes onto the charger and that will charge them up to 66.5 volts that's all fixed um, and yeah so that's that I've got the batteries all in I'm thinking of putting the next layer on the top of here so that I've got the extra range I've just got to figure out how I'm going to fix it in the top here but first of all I think we're just going to get the car turned on and then we are going to check the charger's working check this lot's working and then I'll work on putting this other platform in and getting that fixed too and then that will give us that will give us a full setup and that will work that will work I've just got to I've just got to do a bit more work on this and then we should have a running car hopefully and we can test it right so you can hear that charger buzzing that's good news it's all on and the voltage is going up so the only other thing I wouldn't mind trying to do is to rewiring the fans back there so that it comes on with the charger but we will see I've just got that switch there I've got that switch there because I need it for when I'm towing and things like that so that will probably do for now and then as you can see there it is the voltage is going up so that's good news that's good news the car seems to be working and then I've just got to work on putting this back part in on the back shelf right so progress 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 we have we've all got currently on charge and I've hooked all of that in I've got all of this all wired up so there we go so that way we've got everything plugged in now and we're just charging up and checking that it works on the higher voltage just got to get the seats in and then the car will be ready for a quick test drive maybe I'll do that tomorrow morning I'm just charging them up making sure everything works at the higher voltage and then yeah we'll give the car a run tomorrow and see how it works but everything is pretty much I've been testing everything making sure all the nuts and bolts are all tight and I think we're good I think we're good so progress 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 <laughs> Right, so I've just been doing a little bit of testing. I've charged it up to 64.1 volts. Well, 64.4 it was at, but I'm running the heater to bring it back down. Because if you have a look at my laptop right there, over voltage cutback. Over voltage cutback. Now, I thought I might get away with that. I turned the settings up in the controller, but it looks like anything over 60 volts the car doesn't like so <laughs> I'm in a bit of a pickle because I've got to I've got to pull that down and I may be only able to run it like 60% battery down to 30% which is enough for local journeys but yeah that is where I'm at right now so I'm in a bit of a pickle regarding that um, but yeah there's not a lot I can do unfortunately there's not a lot I can do because I think that's the limit of the controller itself um, I was hoping that um, I did see something stating that you could it was 60 volts but there was a 10 volt leeway for severe over voltage and I was hoping I was hoping that that was going to be um, that was going to give me the leeway in order to drive it but unfortunately I think it has cut back the voltage due to due to that being over 60 volts so I don't think there's any way around it on this controller I've had a look at the settings I really don't think there's any way around it unfortunately so we'll just have to see what we can do as long as I can get the car running for now I should get around 30 40 mile range out of it I would imagine so it's not terrible but um, yeah it is what it is a new day and I have got all of these in here. Now the problem was uh, yesterday was that I charged it right up to 50 to 66 volts, well 65 volts, and 
it will only run up to 60 volts before it cuts off there's no way around it on this model on this controller so we have to run the battery at 50 percent down to about 20 i think which will get me around enough range for local driving but it's uh but what i've done um because of that i've set nominal voltage to 52 just so that regen doesn't boost it over 60 volts when i'm driving and it cuts out now the only thing i have to keep an eye on in that respect because before you had the under voltage protection but this will be going far under what i want the lowest i want to run the batteries down to so i'm just going to have to pay attention to this on top here and make sure that i never go below a certain voltage um I mean, it would have been nice to have the upper end so that I never went down the voltage because the motor would cut it off and go to turtle mode anyway if it got too dangerous. But um, no, I'm just going to have to manually observe. Otherwise, I won't be able to drive, I don't think, because if regen pushes the charge over 60 volts, the car's going to be dead. And then if, I'm, if it happens at a junction or something, then I'm in a bit of a pickle. So it's, uh, this is probably the best option for now. And I've ordered some parts to go under here and what that will do i'll show you when they arrive but i'm going to set the charger so that it doesn't charge over 60 volts as well i'm going to use one of these little voltage meters that you can adjust the um not a voltage meter it's a step down step down converter so it will convert the 12 volts from the charger down to uh, i don't know something like three point something volts and then that will keep it at 60 volts instead of 66 volts so i can just leave it charging and not worry about um not worry about it going too high if I forget about it for an hour. So, um, yeah, that's that. We're going to give this a test and see if it actually runs. Right, so test time. I have... The car is a bit back heavy, I can feel it. It feels like similar to handling the yellow car now. But anyway, so we ha I had to turn the settings up a little bit because even though I set it to 60, it was still dead. So now the car is running. And let's have a little look and see if it will run well, it is dipping to 59.3 on load so it's actually doing too it's not doing too bad on voltage drop no it's not but the handling is a lot different than what it used to be with the other batteries Just to show how just changing the weight does a lot of things and yeah so there we go so I'm just using regen the regen does get lighter as you get close to 60 volts so that works I think that solves what I was trying to sort out and it does seem to work okay so I'm it does drive okay So we've just done 22 miles so far and we're only at 29% depleted on the battery. So this is actually quite good news because that means I've got at least I've got at least a 50 mile range on this car. So that, that was what I've been doing. I've been driving around, I've been seeing how far this um, car can go. And I've only driven around for an hour and we've gone from 50, we've gone from 59 point nine volts down to 57.7 so that's actually only used two volts for 20 22 miles which is pretty good going if you ask me compared to how i have um compared to how i have handled this before so we are going to head back after i reach 25 and see where the battery is sitting at after then we are home, we are home. I've done 43.9 miles. That is almost, yeah, 43.9. So halfway to 30, halfway to 30 miles, 43.9 kilometers. Um, so we've done about 26, 27 miles. Um, and we're still at 57.5 volts, 27%. So that's actually really good. Bear in mind, this is winter, it's cold. So this is on cold batteries. So um, I reckon you could hit 50 to 60 miles in the summer on half of this pack. <laughs> 
So it looks like I could reach 100, 120 miles if I was able to use the full voltage, which is a shame. But for now, the car is running. I'm not going to be. I'm only going to be cycling the pack between 20% and um, and 50%. Uh, so only 30% of the pack. I reckon I'll get about 40 miles out of it. Looking at this and the way that this has been driving. So. Um, that is not bad going, is it? That is not bad going at all. About 40 miles I should get out of this pack. So, um, yeah, wow. Not bad, not bad, not bad. So, this car is fixed. That old data is no longer relevant because that was from those old packs. But, um, yeah, so I'm using these LG chem cells for the time being. Now, the other bonus to this is that you could technically rapid charge these cells. Um, so I could do 50 miles, do a rapid charge, do another 50 miles. Um, so that's not terrible, that's not terrible, but that would mean new charges, so... But no, that is it. That is a car back and running. The silver car is not dead. I've just got to wait for the inverter to be repaired to do the... to repair that, suit, that yellow car. But I think, until I can afford or until I can repair those other packs... Um, this is the new this is the new home for these LG chem cells. So that did save the day. That saved the day instead of having to buy a new battery pack or buy another car. We have saved the day with this. This will give me 50 to 60 miles local range in the winter. Um, I'm gonna do a couple of other things. I'm going to I'm going to put the inverter up here. I mean the wires on the inverter were much thicker. I've brought this up for plugging into the other charger if I did bring the other charger up here and do a bit of a rapid charge um, when I'm on the road when I'm going longer distances I can use 2G with chargers do the little modification on it and it will charge it up to the voltage that I need but what I'm debating on doing is also using this for the inverter um, I've got another connection that will plug into there now this is 40 amp wiring so um, 40 amps on the inverter is still about 2000 watts I think um, so I'm never going to be pulling three kilowatts out of it. I'm going to just be using it for my little heater and doing a couple of other things. So I should not have a problem pulling any power out of the inverter using these wires. Um, I mean, I can always keep an eye on it if it gets too warm for any reason. I think it's only going to get warm if I'm going to be pulling three kilowatts for a longer period of time. So we're going to get that inverter hooked up in here. And um, that means I can still use the little heater that I had down at the bottom for the winter months. Because um, it does get pretty cold. But yeah, so that's that guys. And um, that's the end of this little couple of updates. This car is running again. And... Um, not much else to report so good news good news and um yeah just it took me two days to took me two days to um fix this all back up and i am in time to be able to head to the shops tomorrow because i need to replace a few items and um yep so there we go there we go silver g whiz is back up and alive <laughs>